Welcome to Ridge Life. Today we're going to be processing a deer. We're also going to be discussing wet aging of deer. What I did was I uh, shot this deer on Thanksgiving morning. That was just a little over two weeks ago. And I uh, quartered it up, got the um, shoulders. I actually took the hams off, um, the loin, tenderloin. Got it all, the big parts separated, and we wet aged it. And what wet aging is, is we put it in a cooler, keep it about 34 to 38 degrees, constant temperature, at least as best you can, and you let it all the water drain off. You don't want it to sit in its juices and blood because then the bacteria will grow on it and will get, get rancid. But so you have to continuously drain it, keep ice on it, keep it cool. Uh, it's best to not have the ice directly on the meat if you can. Um, so how I do that is I put the uh, shoulders down first and I, I'll show you what I did here on this cooler. Okay, so I've got a, a really nice cooler here and I've got the meat in it. On the bottom, I've got ice packs and the ice packs are obviously frozen and they create a barrier, a separator, so they won't melt and let the meat hit the bottom of the cooler. Ice packs keep it uh, lifted and keeps a, a drainage area around them. So I have ice packs and then I have the shoulders with the bone in and then I put the, uh, the, the, the meat itself on top of the shoulders. And so it's uh, ice packs, and then I put a, a, back, a layer of ice, then the shoulders, then the meat, and then ice, and I put ice uh, packs, or I'm sorry, a bag of ice, and the, the plastic separated the ice from the meat. And then more just continue to put more ice on top of that. So the ice packs stay frozen on the bottom. The ice on top of that mostly stays there. It eventually melts off. And you'll see as I start taking the meat off how much of that is left on there. And then the meat, and you can put a, another layer of ice uh, between the two. You can use some food grade plastic if you want. Uh, I haven't gone to that, uh, that ex extreme yet, but it, it, it is a good thing to keep the ice off the meat if you can. Um, so again, then the, then the, in, the meat by itself and then ice on top of it and continuously put ice on it and this has been in there for over two weeks uh, i think we're about 16 17 days now so it's going to be really tender and allows that meat to just loosen up the enzymes to react uh, drains all that blood out get all that gaminess out so um, what i've also done and you can see is i've got it lifted up on uh, bricks and that keeps it tilted towards the drain end and the drain is open continuously, allowing it to not sit in its own juices. So if I open it up, let's see what we've got. And you can see I've been adding ice continuously. And I've let it go down now because I'm going to be processing it today. But you can see there's the back straps. Kept all the fat and the silver skin on it. That, again, that protects the meat from the ice. Okay, so here in just a little bit, I'm going to be pulling this off and we'll process this deer okay we're going to be taking this over and preparing it to process if you can if you're new to the channel I'd really appreciate it if you take the this moment to uh, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell to stay um, informed of all the new videos and things going on here in the ridge so we really appreciate it and hope you're having a blessed day see you in a moment welcome back so I've moved the uh, cooler meat over here to the back patio and we're going to uh, pull it out and I'll show you what this wet aging looked like inside the cooler. Okay, in the cooler, so I had a bag of ice, which you can still see didn't, didn't melt all out. And this is again over two weeks. You can see all the ice. And so you can see how I positioned the meat in here with the ice on top. This is the back strap, the loin, and all of the fat and silver skin was facing up. So the bottom side of it was on meat. So the, the exposed meat mostly was meat to meat with the fat and silver skin touching the ice bags and the ice so you can see beautiful backstrap look how red see that's still red 
from where it was meat to meat. And that is going to be so, so tender. Beautiful back strap. So I'll put this up here. Next back strap. Look at that. That is beautiful. Okay. Okay. So then we have tenderloin. Okay. Let's see what we got the rest. And just fall and part me get so tender. So tender. Tender line. You see the hams? Everything looks just so good. There's no, I mean, you would hard to believe this was sitting out here for over two weeks. But you can look. That is perfect. Perfect. That is good, perfect meat. Perfect. Okay, you got, you're starting to see how the, the shoulders were bottom. That way they kept off the bottom any liquid that did stay pulled up which would drain out, kept it, and I kept it, you know, mostly meat side up as well. There you go. Now, I did a shoulder. Well, I shot back behind, but there was some shoulder damage. We'll have to clean all that up. Unfortunately, I didn't get to keep the heart on this deer where I shot it. Um, right behind the shoulder, went through and just destroyed the heart. The heart was destroyed, so unfortunately, I don't get to eat the heart. You see, I had a bag below there. Look at that. See, that, that shoulder wasn't, wasn't damaged at all. The other shoulder was. Okay. So you can see. Nothing disgusting down here. Nothing's grown, nothing. This is just clean. So I had these four ice packs, and then I had a nice layer of ice, ice bag, and you can see everything drained out. Nothing, nothing blocked the drain. Everything kept pouring out. Anything that did pull was below the meat. So again, ice packs, a layer of ice. You have to make sure you can get all your meat in here. So a layer of ice. Then I put the shoulders down, anything that's on the bone, and then the meat on top of that, meat to meat with the silver skin and fat facing up, bag of ice, ice on top of that, fill it up, and uh, keep it 34, 38 degrees. You can go a week, you can go two weeks. I hear people going three weeks. I, ain't, I haven't gone three weeks myself yet, um, but this little over two weeks is going to be some very tender, tender venison. So hope you all can do this and uh, enjoy your very, very tender venison and I hope you enjoyed learning how to wet age venison it's a very simple process you can just keep an eye on it to make sure that you're maintaining your temperature I put a, a refrigerator thermometer in the cooler as well to, to, to monitor it you know day, day to day but if you keep your cooler closed with ice on it it will keep it cold for the range you need uh, a cheaper cooler of course you're gonna need more ice a very expensive uh, Yeti Arctic uh, those type of uh, coolers, you know, they're going to be great. You hardly have to, have to check them. But this this uh, Coleman stainless steel cooler here, it, it, it did a very good job. I hardly had any ice in two weeks. So I hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Again, if I can remind you to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Uh, continue to watch our channel uh, as we grow. And we'll produce, create a bunch more videos similar to this. We have all kinds of things going on. We have chickens. We have guns. We have deer. We have turkey. We have uh, side-by-sides, ATVs, we shoot guns, um, all kinds of fun things. So just continue watching the Ridge and watching us grow, and we appreciate everything, everything you've done for us. And until next time, uh, have a blessed day.